Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever part of the world you're listening to me from. Okay, today's um, is the series, formulation series part four, and today's formulation calculation is on soap making oils. Yes, is on soap making oils. I get a lot of questions um about um oils for soap making there are so many oils in the market like when you get into soap making you'll be shocked at the amount of oils that are available and could actually be used for soap making i have a video where i spoke about oils for making of soap i'll link it in the description area you can go check it out that's what you have you have, that's not the fact you have a lot of oils doesn't mean that you can use all of these oils let me give you a quick example. Um, 100% um, olive oil soup We take a longer time to cure. The reason is the fact that it's soft because olive oil is a soft oil of choice. And then a soap made with 100% coconut oil will be hard, quite okay, but it will have this high tendency of stripping the skin off its natural sebum, meaning it will have drying effects, serious drying effect to the skin so can you see these are all oils that you can use to make soups but then you have to be careful how you use them that does not mean you cannot use olive oil to make your soup that does not mean you cannot use coconut oil to make your soup they are all very amazing oils for soup making but then it has to be used at certain proportions and at certain percentages meanwhile let me quickly digress in soap making we have about three types of um, oils yeah the oils used are like kind of sectioned into three the first one is the hard oil an example of hard oil could be the coconut oil i'm telling you of is a hard oil the palm kernel oil let me put it for short pku palm kernel oil all these are hard oils and then another stage we have is the soft oil now here we have olive oil that i spoke about yeah and then we have um sunflower oil so many oils i'm just giving you like some little little examples then the third category of oil we spoke about is hard conditioning oils now these ones are going to add um latter to your soup and also going to help to soften the skin and most hard conditioning oils falls in the category of butters any kind of butter you can think of but mango butter she butter avocado butters all these fall in the category of hard oils and then even palm oil yes our popular palm oil for cooking is also an amazing oil for soap making all right it brings me today to the choice of oil and the usage rate now usage rate of i'm picking about two choices of oil usage rates of palm oil and another beautiful oil castor oil mm. people with dry skin know the value of castor oil because castor oil is a life like a skin saver for most people with dry skin types okay um now these are the two oils of choices i decided to pick and the reason is the fact that these two oils are oils that are not usually used at high rates in soap making that is the reason why i just decided to choose these two beautiful oils to speak about their usage rates now palm oil is a very known fact that palm oil has a very strong staining effect and that is the reason why like personally i don't use palm oil for my soap to be honest with you yeah i don't use it i use it for cooking but there are a lot of people that use it palm oil for their soap and it has an amazing benefit like a super super amazing benefit i concentrate more on using butters as my conditioning hard oils you understand i don't use palm oil but for the sake of those that keep asking me questions can i use palm oil for my soap yes you can use palm oil for your soap and to come out very fine palm oil soaps they lather well and they are usually a hard but of course what do you expect palm oil is when it's settled it's hard right so it's usually a hard bar and it moisturizes the skin very very well but due to the fact that palm oil has a strong staining effect, palm oil is a soap that sh is, is an oil that shouldn't be used more than 20% in soap making. 
yes it shouldn't be used at more than 20 percent in soap making of course the obvious reason is the fact that it has a strong staining effect yes then the next oil is castor oil now castor oil is another super 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 amazing oil and its viscosity is on point what i mean by viscosity is very thick it's super super on point castor oil not only is it good for your creams it's also good for your soap it's also good for your hair products exactly so castor oil is due to its thickness its viscosity shouldn't be used at more than 10 percent like me personally if i'm using castor oil i use castor oil at five percent yes i use castor oil at five percent because when you exceed ten percent with castor oil in your soup your soap will become unusable yeah i'll call it unusable reason being the fact that it's going to become too gummy gummy you understand it, it it loses concentration or it loses yeah as soap it becomes gummy gummy due to the strong viscosity of castor oil so basically here um you want to make a soap because most soaps usually come in the badges of 500 gram as a beginner when you're getting into soap making as a beginner you start small it's better you start small then from small you can now expand and make bigger badges but as a beginner it's advisable your small badges should start from 500 grams you understand and in these 500 grams we have our hard oils any hard oil of choice you're picking because let me quickly add if you want to use coconut oil and palm coconut oil all these are hard oils they function the same in your soup yes they are responsible for hardening the bar now you 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 you, you can use the two quite okay at a 50 50 a ratio you understand but meanwhile have you at the back of your mind that hard oils in soap making are used when you want to make a 500 gram of soap badge of soap eh? you want to make a 500 badge of soap now the quantity of your hard oil of choice should not exceed 150 grams yes then your soft oil of choice anyone you decide to choose even if you don't want to go in the lines of olive oil or sunflower oil whatever soft oil of choice that you choose should now go in at 200 grams do you understand and last but not the least your hard or conditioning oils which are your bottles and and your palm oil as well is also a hard uh, conditioning oil should not go beyond 150 grams so are you seeing what's happening here now 150 plus 200 plus another 150 is equals to 500 grams now you have a badge of soap with oils of 500 grams and then you go in with your lye at the uh, proportion of the 500 grams most cases i like to go in with my lye for 500 grams of soup i like to go in for, with, with lye with for, of nothing less than let's say um 69 to 75. do you understand grams am i communicating here so that is how i don't go beyond this the reason being the fact is that you want to make soap and exhaust all of the lye you want the saponification process to consume all of the lye you want your lye to be proportioned to your oil because when your lye is more than your oil your soap is going to dry out the skin yes it's going to and it's going to take a longer curing time yes it's not going to have enough super Fat. there's something called super fat in soap making well let me stop here for today let me don't get too intense if you're interested in knowing more about this i have classes you could register for and then you have more in-depth in soap making and soap making oil so thank you so much for coming back to watch my formulation series i really appreciate for those that we've been moving along together i really really appreciate thank you so much thank you so much for this so much show of love i really love you all Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video, share my video, and see you in another video. Bye.